It's like a fried cheese patty with tartar sauce and lettuce. someone and explain to them without using any words what you're trying to accomplish, you should ask if they speak English because they probably do. It's so, happened a couple times that you like, try to like... I'm like, I feel bad assuming people speak English because like what if they don't? But I, I've learned that I should just ask in case they do because they probably do. So we were here at the train station and um, you can like buy your ticket from the window or if you buy it from the little machine, it costs a little bit more, but then it's also valid on the metro. And that's cheaper than buying, like, a train ticket and a metro ticket when you get there. So we did that. But the machine only took coins, and we didn't have enough coins to buy tickets. So um, I was like, I can just, you know, I can pantomime to her that, like, you know, I want to trade this bill for coins. And it wasn't working. And she was just like, do you, do you speak English? I said, oh... Yeah, okay. So then we, we figured it out. And she said, you know, do you need any like any advice with anything or are you are you okay for using it? And we're like, no, 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 no I think we're all good. So just ask if they speak English. Um and then there was like cereal in the morning for breakfast and it was just really nice. And then we were talking to her talked to her more this morning and I got to pet her dog. She has a sheltie. It is so cute and so fluffy. First day in Prague. First mishap with the subway. I'm actually surprised it didn't take us longer to do this. Yeah. Um, but we ended up going the wrong way on the subway. Yeah, like we and got we, the wrong one. we only realized after we got on. So the doors opened up for some reason. I think someone else wanted to go on. So I pushed myself out of the door. I tried. And Aaron didn't make it. So he was stuck on the subway. Going the wrong way. Um, so he was there. And I ended up just just sitting at that line, and he he took it one stop and then transferred and then came back the other way. But that was a little bit exciting. I mean, it's not like, like it's not a big deal. It's just it hasn't happened. Right. I'm amazed that it hasn't happened. Yet. Yeah. So that was that was fun. It's sort of our adventures when we can't read a word that it's on any of the maps. Well, and like these ones don't have like a little screen on the side of the train that says like which direction it is. They only say it like on the front of the train. So if the train's already stopped there, you can't really tell. No, really, it's that nice. But, yeah, this is our first view of Prague. You can see it better in person. Love but the architecture. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's really pretty. It's so pretty. Yeah. This is Prague. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. found St. Vitus Cathedral and Prague Castle and a very nice Christmas tree. And now we are going back down the hill. I think. Okay. Seems like we're going down. I don't know where it's going to take us. There's not the movie off. So we passed like a little here. Walk up window. Walk up window. It's like it was like a quarter the size of a window. It wasn't actually like a window, but we walk it up and I ordered a fried cheese and this is what I get. It's like a fried cheese patty with tartar sauce and lettuce. On a bun. On a bun. It's actually really good and it was only the equivalent of like a euro fifty. So, good deal. I got fried. Of course. I like fries. Fried potatoes. There's this weird artist who like set up a whole bunch of really odd and strange statues around Prague. This is one of them. 
like very very odd. I I, I don't see the point. It's pretty funny. You put some 